and uh obviously not ranked in mvda uh, or in mvda mvd is not ranked in las vegas but uh most likely because you know once he got there i think the quarantine had just kind of started up so he didn't get, really get a chance to go to mm-hmm. a lot of uh events that man obviously you no rank or not you don't need that you know how good he is yeah uh, he's just one of those people who just transcended history um in a very very major way i mean just really just uh, you know again the snake is just it's been around forever there's just some people who are above accolades or above awards and stats you know what i'm saying kind of in like that michael jordan type of category you know what i mean MVD Snake is certainly in that category for sure. Skittles, of course, the new kid on the block. I only say new just because of the, the results here as of late. But I've been around a little bit, you know, since, since Smash 4. But let's see how they fare off against MVD right now. I mean, it has this pretty okay size lead, but that down to has something to say about it. Great percent put on the board here so far. All right, so Ethan actually says a new PR came out, and MVD is currently two in Vegas. So nice. All right, so we'll, we'll have to update that eventually, but. Maybe a little later on, uh, as in we are right in the thick of this match, man. As I said, there's going to be a decent amount of uh, projectiles, amount of explosions. You got the primitive bombs versus the more modern bombs, aka the grenades. But and all you know, and all the other things that uh, Snake has, C4, Nikita, all of that. A great time. Yeah, definitely. Snake is definitely you know just armed to the T in a lot more ways than Smash kind of represents here. He definitely has that thing on him too. So, I mean, but we'll, we'll never see it in this game, despite what Bayonetta and Joker get to do, unfortunately. However, that's a story for another day here. Skittles right now with this pretty okay size lead, just dancing around MVD. MVD, I love the fact, you know, they just walk right up into the face of danger, wait it out. Things aren't looking good for them. They'll just hold shield, walk out, and then reset the neutral. Always on at the scout, really playing true to form in a very solid stake uh, style fashion. All right. Ooh, we got a little back air action. Okay, gonna be able to find uh, too much for that man Skittles. Definitely trying to get some space here and not potentially find the stock before MVD finds it. I mean, the time is ticking though, and where it is, taking time bomb is gone. Finds the Nikita as Skittles most likely trying to land down with maybe a dare if he was able, uh, able to get all the way over that, but could not. So, big rip. Yeah, big old rip for sure. Really struggling too. Oh my God! Yes, take these platforms away from MVD. Now, I'm not saying that MVD has bad habits on the platform. I mean, this is just what Snake has to do for sure. You know, get your B reverses in properly. You know what I'm saying? Find covers the best way you're supposed to. I mean, we've seen this most notably with MVD versus Send earlier. And they're always having to mix up those landing options. But that's exactly what Skittles is looking for. You know, Young Link, I'm not saying that they struggle to kill, but they just they, they, they need a setup or they need that right opportunity. A missed Ooh. pivot grab, though, is not the right opportunity for sure. Not as big of a punish as it could have been, but I wouldn't do it twice. Okay, here we go. But you know, putting on the putting on the the show right here. Uh oh. No, uh, that's not not gonna be able to get too much further than that, unfortunately. Uh, trying to get some more damage there on the left side, but you can see Skittles is kind of like, uh, I guess, willing his way back to the middle. Just a lot of damage. And Skittles been able to put on what a catch too, man. Getting all the way up there, using that platform for the extended height. But MVD though, I'm gonna try to go and get this one back immediately, and just like that, I mean efficiency of the stock takes right there. MVD probably taking that like 73 before the hit. That's nice. Yeah, very nice indeed. MVD is never going to be down for long. And I think that's just kind of the beauty of this matchup here. I mean, you know, it, we've seen, you know, um, you know, Ronnie Chu, MVD, and, and of course, like Dom, you know, play some, you know, some slightly slower matches earlier. But I think it's just very match dependent. And one like this, you really can't afford to let one side get an inch at all because especially Young Link, I mean, the movement options that they possess versus what Snake can do up close, they're just going to run circles around you. So try to keep it as airtight as possible here right now. Okay, grenade gameplay on these platforms, really stopping Skittles from sharking up underneath. I love that grenade uh, placement as always. Gonna take a little bit more than that though to bring himself here towards a victory. All right, man. You see him just kind of backing up on it right now with the grenade in hand, trying to... Whoa, I feel like that was probably... I feel like that was a check, uh, check uh, mate situation right there where if he had just potentially maybe just covered up smash uh, the whole time, it would have been over. But uh, still gets the still gets the W. So I'm not gonna say too much about it, man. Found the you know found the safer option with the arrow to the up air. MVD man, he'd be so stoic after the game. Look at him, <laughs> no yeah. movement whatsoever. I think that's just like you know the seasoned vet classic because you know the same thing was happening with Larry Larry glitch and then um, you know a couple other terms of theory. You know it's just they don't really show much emotion. You might get a smile or two out of Larry. You know he's a genuinely uh, you know happy guy, but for the most part, it's just like yeah, I'm just I'm here. Like let's do the thing. All right, so 
MVD man, I think we comp we commented on this earlier, man. That boy got some posture. You know? Definitely don't got the gamer slouch for sure. That back is straight up. Yeah, man, that's something I'm gonna have to start uh, incorporating in my in, in my streams or something. Just sitting straight up. All right, so MVD now gonna be down a game and gonna take it over to uh to Kalos. I'm not sure if this is gonna really help uh out though. I feel like you're still pl playing the same game against each other. Except Toon Link seems to have an easier time to scrap sometimes. Or like in these scrambles at least. Yeah, I feel like the projectile game really doesn't change much for a young Link. I mean, the, the distance where he has to throw has to be at a certain point, you know, regardless of how big the stage is or not. MVDs, of course, you know, projectile game just becomes a little bit more telegraphed, but good Lord, not more telegraphed than pretty much popping you off your feet and hitting you with the upper. I mean, we have seen that time and time again. Skittles did that most notably versus base mage early, and he's just kind of, you know, repeating history here for the most part. Down throw, goes from there, go, oh, gets two. Okay, yeah, don't. Don't do too much, man. You might have a little too much dip on your chip play, boy. All right. So, uh, this is still in the possibility of MVD getting this this uh, stock relatively early. But, I mean, the Skittles. I just, dog, he's playing so well in this matchup in particular. Man. Yeah, really is. I mean, he's just playing it the way it's supposed to be done, executing proficiently, not dropping any conversions. Oh, my Lord, yes, but... Sometimes you got to drop the hammer, I guess in this case, the forwarder right on top of the tunic. Great stuff right there from MVD. And again, not that bad of a lead. Probably I'm just saying now I got to play just a little bit close. Oh, that reversal. I don't know. I don't know why it just looks more smooth. Like, <laughs> I feel like that was supposed to be a reverse, uh, like a back air, but like didn't get the input out in time. So they just didn't get in there, which is still a hit, but it looks pretty smooth. Yeah, it most definitely did. I mean, that's just the Skittles classic, man. Uh, the footwork is ever so great. But say, oh my God, certainly could be said right there for MVD. Great directional air dodge up. I love that under saying that. All right, Cypher's out of the picture. I'm about to be a sitting duck here pretty soon. Cannot afford to have that happen with Skittles above me. Okay. okay. Ford. Are they Ford? Oh, get off of me. Now, interesting enough, went for down smash at the ledge. I know earlier when we were commentating some of Skittles' matches, um, you know, had that unfortunate habit of just standing right up into Yo-Yo. Maybe MVD kind of caught a little wind of that and was just trying to hit him with that too. Who knows? But I do appreciate the attempt. There's the up mm. tilt though. MVD regained the lead 171%. We'll see how long he can hold on to it. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, it's going to be a good lead to try to hold, but I mean, how long are you be able to hold it with moves like that? That Nair, you get him all the way across the stage, and yeah, it's kind of trapped in there. One bomb above him, one bomb below him, and then obviously the sword coming through as well. See what MVD can, MVD can do now as he tries to get a uh, get in, back into the set by winning this dub, or getting this dub on this game, but all right. Okay. Bombs in hand. Both sides not want to approach without their most utilized tools. Yes, the grenade. Get the heck off of me. I love that downer attempt, too. Again, you know, and I'm glad you brought that up earlier. You know, Skittles, very scrappy. I mean, that's just what you do at Young League. And I also feel like just Skittles is by nature just a, a scrappy type of player. MVD, of course, not without options. Still normals hit very hard. Obviously not as quick as Young Link, but certainly pack quite the punch. 94% can certainly be evened up here very quick off of one conversion, but we might not get a chance to see a down tilt forward there. Right. See him trying to. Well, honestly, well, this is crazy how much damage has been. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that DI. That's that's, that's grown an ass amazing DI. DI for sure, man. Not, can he can he turn this into a W though? That is what we're trying to find out. Going super high for it again, and Skittles just, I mean, just really marking or making it hard for uh, MVD to land. Regardless, MVD that was really risky. He just kind of he's jamming those back airs in there like it's nothing. I think that parry, I'm surprised he didn't get parry oh, up match right there. Speaking of up, that's going to be an up tilt. Not enough to take the stock yet. Dash attack. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. Nikita. Nikita. That's right. She came out to do the damn thing. MVD tapping into some of that grown man resilience, that tenacity. Unfortunately, it was not enough right there for Skittles. MVD digging deep right there. I... I feel like Skittles actually had the win off of that uh, parry. He just did not pull. Like, he didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Like, that was a parry up smash, a parry any, a parry nair, like a, a parry anything. But he just stood there. And so that allowed, uh, you know, MVD to, you know, play that game a little more and actually get the W. Yeah, that's kind of like the duality of fighting games. It's like, do I just toss something kind of unga bunga or do I try to, you know what I'm saying, hit him with something galaxy brain right here in these final moments? Like, what is my opponent ready for? And I feel like, you know, Skittles just 
I don't know, maybe the tunic was on just a little too tight right there. I mean, just literally walked up and didn't do anything. I'm like, yo, I don't know if you can really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you have the luxury of, of playing the long game versus MVD, because I talked about it before the set started. Survivability is in MVD's blood, especially with his snake. Yeah. So, I mean, look, that's, and that, that big body obviously is going to help as well. I mean, I feel like a lot of other uh, characters in this game would have not been able to live that down air. But I was actually kind of surprised the Skittle didn't go for the up air instead. Uh, a little harder to DI that one, but maybe he just, you know, he saw where uh, where MVD was heading, so he's like, all right, the down air is going to be an easier option to hit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, up. Down tilt, man. Once more, I mean, it's just been the number one party starter right here for Skittles. Yes, unfortunately, getting a little too close for comfort right there on that grounded up B. Fortunately for MVD, not quite able to survive that one. 98% here. This is still very doable right now for MVD. I mean, we have seen him turn. I like, I mean, as you can see right there, going from a 90 something to 123 in a matter of conversions. Okay. Back air action. And now, scooped up real quick. Okay, there actually some damage is being done to MVD's second stock already. He's got to find his first stock uh, relatively or soon. Otherwise, he might actually lose the second one before he gets the chance. Getting a little desperate right there with the C4 drop. Okay, catch. Ooh, oh, nice. my. Finesse right there. I mean, catching the bomb. Up throw, up tilt right there. I mean, he said, look, it doesn't matter what type of explosive I have in my hand. Yours, mine, big links, two links. It don't matter. I know what to do with this. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like MVD right now is definitely uh, kind of kind of having a rough uh, outing in this matchup. But it kind of shows you, it feels like this is a, a very practice matchup for Skittles almost. Because he's, he's playing quite well. There's a C4 on him. Yeah, I'm actually so glad won't you be able to face him up there. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and uh, Skittles, I'm really glad you brought that up, man. He uh, certainly very well, uh, very comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Very well rounded in the Snake matchup. There's a player back at home by the name of uh, Hot Dog Knight. Yes, that is a real tag there, friends. Snake is very, very proficient. I mean, obviously not MVD, but definitely gets the job done in brackets. So Skittles, of course, very well versed in this here. Um, and this is just kind of like the unfortunate thing that Snake kind of runs into with characters that have projectiles like him. I mean, his projectiles are polarizing when they hit, but they're not the best projectiles in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like he has to kind of set them up. Characters like Samus, Dark Samus, you know, Young Link, they can kind of break that zone really easily if not done properly. Well, I feel like because of that laser S, oh, unfortunate, he forgot that, you know, he didn't uh, see that grenade behind him. So great confirm right there from MVD. I was gonna say though, the laser, the laser S arrow is really the, the hot stuff right there that's giving him that W. Mm -hmm. uh, so often uh, because like not only is it a fast projectile it, if it clashes with a grenade you will be able to shoot another one well before a uh, snake can pull and throw another grenade so you just allowed to kind of like pepper him from a distance kind of making snake be the one that has to uh, approach you and that's yeah. uh that's a that's a big feat you know to, to do in this game is to make snake be the one who has to approach yeah, there's not very many characters in the business, literally just in the history of Smash, I could force Snake into that type of position. So you're 100% right. You know, Snake, of course, just one of those characters where once they get the lead, I mean, they're already, you know what I'm saying, pretty upper echelon on the tier list, but you know, in the right hands, they just feel like the strongest character, the strongest player in the room. Yes, the C4, you better watch yourself, my friend. All right, it's not safe to land right there. We're gonna pull the trigger. We're gonna move on to the next game. MBD showing a little emotion now, finally, okay? All right. Good stuff uh, to MVD there. Managed to make it happen over uh, Skittles, but Skittles, man, still got you know some fight in him, some life in him. The young kid is doing it up. Oh yeah, Skittles right here with the AirPod energy. My boy's tapped into elite Zoomer mode. I love it. Also digging that hat too, by the way. Let's go ahead and get into this next game here. MVD up two games right here on Skittles is one. And that's kind of the MVD classic once more. You know, MVD does so well in the match. And there's that point in time where you really start to question things like, yo, can MVD do this? And then boom, boom pull something out from up underneath that hat, or I guess in Snake's case, you know, up underneath that bandana. And then boom, finds himself a victory. So good stuff right here. Skittles been digging deep for the most part. We're going to have to play just a little bit better because, I mean, MVD is just no slouch. Literally on the sticks, off the sticks. Look at the way he's sitting in that chair right now, all right? Right. Ooh. Ooh. As you said, no slouch at all here, uh, kind of making uh, it uh, all the way back up. The damage was definitely racked up on him a little earlier, but he managed to get that stock first and still living. Still living here. That grown man DI, snake, big old body, not big enough. The up air is going to shut it down. Even stocks at percents right now. 
this is okay. But again, we have certainly seen better right here from Skittles. Skittles, I mean, really just struggling right here with the minefield that is MVD. Just has everything set up, really just letting the projectiles and just the zoning and just the, the, the set play do the talking here for MVD. Not really having to get those hands dirty at all. And then some of those rare opportunities where he's had to drop forward air, had to drop, you know, forward tilt, down tilt. They always seem to hit the mark. So again, MVD, like you mentioned earlier, man, just really in control of the pacing of this game. Yeah. So MVD, man. Oh, okay. You want to watch yourself real quick. Trying to do a little more Nikita magic there, but wasn't able. Oh, okay, now he's getting stabbed up. He is going to actually put a little pressure uh, this time around. Probably going to reset that C4 as well. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. CQC action. That's right. I'm telling y'all, man, MVD can fight up close. We've seen it earlier, man. That one hit uh, on the forward tilt, and then I think they air dodged in, boom, up tilt. I mean, he knows how to bang. Yeah. All right. Not going to be able to chase him down too much right there. That Nikita almost came back Ooh. to make something happen. And yeah, the, the blast on a little too close this time for that DI to really save him. Uh, he's not, you know, far away from getting the stock, though. The neutral air from the middle of the stage, not going to be enough. With a little rage, though, that would have been nice. He's getting chased down again. I like that uh, that little bit of a trap he was going for, putting the, the, the Nikita down still and kind of thinking Skittles was going to uh, try to block that so he can get a free grab. Skittles definitely aware, but wasn't able to live on that stock much longer. Yeah, I mean, just great awareness. And of course, you know, MVD is always just knowing the terrain very well. You have to play a character like Snake, you know, how to drop C4s, when to pull a grenade, you know, where to drop C4s. And according to like even the coloring on the stage, I mean, the rabbit hole certainly runs deep. But yes, I mean, the ledge trap has certainly been, you know, just something to marvel at from MVD. And it's definitely been something that Skittles has kind of struggled at, uh, you know, just this evening, this weekend, really. I mean, just getting up off the corner and just really trying to survive. Yeah. Skittles, I mean, might be able to get this to a game five. MVD, again, for most of his, I feel like most of his uh, entry has been, oh my God, what happened there, bro? Got hit with several grenades and the up air. Ooh, looking for the forward air there instead. MVD, okay. I was gonna say, a lot of his uh, entry has just been dash attacks, uh, kind of getting him through. Oh, back yeah. here, right there, like it. That's right. Falling mm. back here. He's off stage. Nikita wants more. Yes, he's actually going to use it right into the corner, forcing him Jeez. to get up to the ledge, understanding that you have been struggling in these corners, man. My up tilt is going to shut it down. And I know I mentioned it early before, MVD of being a silent killer, but with the well-deserved pop-off right there. Yeah. I mean, he's still, you know, I feel like we, we've seen harder pop-offs on from Shoro, but that was a little muted pop-off. You know, he's, he's like, I don't really have to, uh, I still got, you know, a fight ahead of me, so don't want to go too crazy when you still got uh, some more fight in you. 